Hello, I'm Ed Gonzalez and welcome to TotalMD. Today we'll be covering briefly how to customize TotalMD to your needs. This can be done through the setup area. And you'll notice that we have uh, three areas that we could use to set up our program. Practice information, accounting setup, and additional setup. Here we could set up the practice, practice name. We could accommodate the starting and ending times of our scheduler and some additional settings for our program. We can also set up our users. We could set up security for those users. We could set up our providers and our resources which would be used on our scheduler. We can also set up our fee schedule insurance plans, service classifications, our diagnosis codes, our procedure codes, and of course our accounting codes. We can also set up alert codes and you have an area to create customized prescription prescription templates. The system previously, exam room one, two, and an x-ray. Um, we'll make an appointment in one of two ways. Um, let's make our first appointment by capturing over the telephone the patient's uh, last name, And of course, you would take their phone number, any additional phone numbers. You can assign them to one of those three resources that we have. Select a provider. We can also choose a reason for the appointment from our reason list. We can also add a new reason on the fly by just adding with our F8 key and creating a new reason. Otherwise, I'll just choose an existing one. And we can color code our appointment, the length of the appointment, and we can certainly put in any additional notes. And I'll save our appointment. That's one method of entering an appointment. Another method would be that you would actually capture the whole chart and we'll do that simply by repeating our steps again, but this time on the patient, I'll press F8, which is to add a new chart into the system. And this time we're actually creating the chart. We'll call this one sample patient. We can actually just grab the whole street address here. Enter our phone number, any additional phone numbers. You could also capture an email, track the employer, and we'll make the gender, marital status, a birth date, social security number if you do wish to track that, a driver's license some other ID, by default you'll repeat the social security number. You could also set up a billing code and of course a patient indicator. You could also set up a patient referral. Could have been referred by another patient. If there's a referring physician and maybe it was not referred by a patient but it could have been because of the yellow pages. We can also track their insurance information, the relationship to the insured, whatever the copay amount is, policy number, if there's a group number, the assignment of benefits for the primary. You can repeat your steps for the secondary and the tertiary policies. 
you have your visit authorization number and the number of visits authorized. Any medical alerts can be checked off. And of course we have additional fields that we could uh, come back and edit this chart and enter that information. Uh, for the moment we just needed this information which is the patient's name and demographics and what type of coverage they have. We save our work and we have our chart entered into our appointment entry. We can of course allow the length of the appointment to be 30 minutes. We can put in any additional notes here. We'll save our appointment. Just choose a provider and we have two appointments. One for patient sample and another for sample patient. One we just captured the patient's name quickly on the phone and the other one we spent a minute or two on the phone with the patient to capture and also create the uh, actual patient chart at the same time of creating the appointment. Hello, I'm Ed Gonzalez and we're about to do a claim in Total MD. We could do that by coming up here at the top where it says Ledger. And we'll search or enter our patient that we entered previously in our uh, appointment demonstration. Here's a sample patient. And here's our alert that we entered. And here's our billing or uh, what some refer to as a case. And we'll take a look at that case. You can press F9 or right click with your mouse and choose Edit Billing. And here on the right side you can see uh, the three policies, uh, 1, 2, and 3. And we had previously set up this patient with Aetna. Um, you can notice over here that we could also add a description to this billing or this case. Um, we'll choose our diagnosis at this time. And let's pick up a couple of diagnoses. We'll pick anything at random, whatever comes up. And right there. <laughs> and we have our three diagnoses. And we have a couple of other fields that are we may or may not need depending on the scenario of our case. Let's save our work um, and we're about to do our first uh, new transaction and we will choose a procedure code at this time. We'll enter a 99212 from our list and we could enter a modifier for different uh, CPT codes if we need it. Here's our default fee or the amount for this particular code depending on the plan or the service classification and we'll choose our provider. We can enter any additional notes here at this time. We could also select uh, the diagnosis pointers or deselect and we could save our work and we have a transaction that we've entered we need to enter another transaction. You could just click over here on the left side where it says New Transaction. Okay, at this moment we'll create a claim. It's been created. Here's our claim editor, which is unique to Total MD. You'll notice that there are certain fields here that you could actually make modifications to. Okay, you could correct something on the fly. Of course, from here we could also print out our claim. We could choose our default printer or preview. And here's our claim. Simple as that. Total MD. Practice management made easy and simple the way it should be.